So, uh, sometime last week I was walking home from the shops and I found this horrible mess. Now, as far as I can tell, what's happened is someone's had this, they've pulled it apart and they broke it. Just need one more thing. These are always useful, cleaning wipes. So this used to be a battery bank until someone really tore it apart in a very destructive way. When I first saw this, I'm thinking, ooh, lithium polymer batteries like what we've got here. And these ones are being held together by their adhesive glue. These are out of a MacBook, so, you know, I stacked them like that, hopefully preventing them from making contact. Anyway, when I saw this one, the lithium polymer batteries in this thing are a lot bigger and I was actually hoping to restore it. That's probably not going to be a thing. So I'm going to try to pull it apart without causing any more... Well, what am I saying? This thing's already damaged beyond wrecking. Oh. So let's just grab this cap on tape. So the first problem is, apart from being dirty, this polymer battery here is missing one of its tabs, which is a real shame, but this one still seems to be intact. So I'll just go grab a multimeter and see what we've got there, which I have one right here. So we're getting 1.7 volts. That's not good. Whether or not these batteries are in any good condition for myself, I don't know. I probably need to learn a bit more about lithium polymer. But the question is whether or not the actual circuit board in here is still working, which I can't give it a full test, but we can at least take a look at that. So, I need a pair of cuts. So I'm going to carefully cut this cable. And there is a rather beaten up lithium polymer battery, which I might be able to use. And I'll cut this one. Ooh, hello. There's still a little bit of a tab there. I wonder if I can get a voltage out of that. Let's try. Turn my multimeter on, which nobody can see. So I'll just bring that to here. Ah, perfect, we can see it. Touch you there, touch you there. 2.8 volts. That's a bit more uh, better. And what's this battery? 4,000 milliamp hours. Ooh. Resurrecting you would be nice. The thing would be, though, is getting that somehow hooked up. Okay, so let's turn you off. Put you aside. And let's try to take this apart some more. Put you away.
rather destructive, but okay. So as near as I can tell, somehow it's being held in. Oh, you probably can't see this on the camera. I'll just bring it up. Yep, there's a bit of corrosion going on in there. That's not good. Oh, I like the camera function on this thing. Uh, Got a lot of technology. Uh, the thing I'm trying to work out is how to safely disassemble this without breaking it. So if I was to use this, I'd have to figure out some way of removing all this corrosion. There's no way I want to fire it up. Hmm. Actually, I might not want to fire this up. So just so people understand what this battery bank is, here is the main logo for whatever it is, and some more details on the back. So if you've got one of these, you can take a look at it yourself. At least what it looks like on the inside. Seems like they've done a bit of uh, a bit of work in here. And what's fascinating is that there doesn't appear to be a BMS, a battery management system, in this thing. It's just sort of two batteries that have been wired up. So for me, I would say that there has to be some sort of screw here. just being held together. Okay. So it's not screwed together, they're just being held in place. Okay, so that was a the only member of my family that I'm really willing to talk to anymore. And back to this. All I've done here was just sort of stretch the plastic out. Looks like there's a bit of adhesive and some sort of tape there. And it's semi willing to budge. Ooh. Something crumbled. It was just a plastic. Keep coming. Keep coming. Hmm. Well, I can't use this screwdriver. It's not flat edge. This honestly looks like someone spilt milk on it after they smashed it up. So I'm guessing it wasn't exploratory, it was just, let's break this. Very entertaining. It used to happen a lot when I was a kid. I'd be walking to school and I would find some like toy guns or something somebody got for their birthday and they've just gone out and smashed it or it's been stolen it was smashed up on some concrete it's amazing the things that happen I 
I have to wonder whether or not this actually broke down and the reason this is the reason why it was smashed up. So one dodgy battery and it's completely useless. So all I'm doing is I'm tackling two posts that are inside this thing. And now I realize I may have made it much worse. Oh, what fun. Okay, let's do something even more stupid. I'm trying to avoid the logic board. I just got myself. Okay, so now I just cut my glove. Huh, interesting. So it appears there may still be a second case on top of this. There it goes. And it's off. Haha. -ha. Oh no, that's definitely screwed. Okay, so interesting. That's not see-through. So there's status LEDs on this thing that are not visible. Huh. Catch is those status LEDs may be visible, but without being able to turn the thing on and in its current state, I can't tell. A little bit of pressure, and that's one screw, and a little bit more pressure, and that's another screw. There we go. So those LEDs are definitely present. If I bring this up and let autofocus kick in. So four LEDs. Oh man, look at how nasty that is. I would really like to have an ultrasonic cleaner for this. I'd definitely be dunking it in there. Oh, look at those corrosion. All that corrosion. Now, what's interesting is that the corrosion appears to be on the one of the outside pins. So, what about these two chips? What do we got here? Oh man, that is blurry. This is making it wobble. Let's try focus. Let's try focus again. No. Uh, let's try a little bit of light. That's not even plugged in. You know those times you realize you should clean up your desk? I'm having one of those right now. And where is, there you are. Okay, so we'll get a bit of extra brightness. Refocus, perfect. So can I see what's written on these ICs? No. Hang on, what's this? USB 4, USB 1, USB 2. So where is USB 3? Hmm. What is interesting when I look at this, apart from the misplaced numbering for the USB ports, 
you've got battery positive, you've got battery negative, and you've got a ground. Huh. And looking at this, my guess would be this is the protection IC for the lithium batteries, and that would be the voltage regulator. Not a voltage regulator, but something that steps up the voltage or allows the output of 5 volts between these two ports here. Uh, ooh, definitely wouldn't want to try to fire this thing up. Some corrosion even on these pins. I mean, nasty. So yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> Oof. So I guess that means I can make a guess. One, this wasn't working, and the owner decided to smash it and, well, get rid of it in a public place, which is highly irresponsible. Or two, it was stolen, someone couldn't get it to work, or it didn't work, and they just threw it out. Ah, the things you learn. So let's try to do something with these batteries up front. And live on camera, I'm going to find out whether or not using these wipes on these batteries is dangerous. Although because this is lithium ion, uh, lithium polymer, it's probably best not to well, the other thing is this material shouldn't be conductive, which is what you've got to look for when cleaning batteries or dealing with electronics. You don't want anything that's conductive. Unless, of course, your intention is to create a link. So I'm a bit sort of perplexed whether or not to call these batteries a uh, lost cause or... Try to recover them. I mean, 400 milliamp hour, 4,000 milliamp hours. Sorry, that's huge. Maybe they clean up nicely. Just a sec, I'm gonna do this a bit better of a clean. So I'm guessing the soil must have been quite sandy where I collected these from because it's feeling really sandy, this stuff. Ooh, it is nasty. Okay, I feel better about that. Now, so that, so right now, if I had the equipment, I would be preparing my ultrasonic cleaner and dunking this in there. I would then more than likely remove these two USB ports. If I could, I'd replace them. If not, well, just wire something up in another way. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if this still works, this would be a nice little module. The thing that's sort of perplexing me though is that there's no like balance uh, charging in this thing. So it only seems to go off uh, the, total, the total charge of both batteries. So if one battery was to overcharge, it could cause you problems, which is not very healthy, which is a real shame. Honestly, if I was using this, I would probably only use it with one battery. But who knows how, I mean, 
if it's like a 7.2 charger, that means that's not going to work. Oh well, there's my quick little video, me tearing down a uh, battery bank I found smashed up all over the ground. Well, hope you liked it.